Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. My name is Jose Villablanca and I'm a holistic lifestyle coach and personal trainer. Today I'm going to be talking to you about breaking past plateaus. Now this is a normal thing, especially if you haven't seen results in a while. If That's because um, you may have not changed your workout, so I'm going to show you how you can do that. So the first thing you could do is changing just the exercise order. Just by switching up, say, if you were to do squats at the end of the workout, now maybe you can do squats at the start of the workout. What that does is it works different muscle groups um, because of the order. So say your lower back might fatigue a lot sooner than um, your legs. Um, or you could start with your upper body first if you used to finish with the lower body. So again, that would challenge you and make you work your upper body while you're still fresh. So just as simple as that, changing up your exercise order. You can also change your rest intervals. Um, I highly suggest using a timer. It's a lot easier to not use a timer, but when you have a timer and it's on your wrist like my Fitbit, you feel the vibration every time the timer sets off. So you really have to use that. You can't just really eyeball 60 seconds or, thir or you know, 30 seconds or a minute and a half. Um, you can also use longer rest time. What happens with that is when you use a longer rest time, you have more strength for the next workout because you get to recover more. Now that depends if you're trying to do um, strength training or circuit training, so it really varies on your program. Another thing you can look into is using less rest time. So this would be perfect for circuit training. You know, you go jump from one exercise to another with less rest, which means it's a lot more taxing to your system and you burn more calories in less time. A few things you can also do is just by um, intensifying your sets is doing drop or strip sets. So that, for example, would be if you're on a cable machine, you start moving the pin up higher and higher as it gets lighter and lighter when you fatigue every set. So you can look into drop setting as well. That's what drop setting is. Um, <clears throat> you can also do a rest pause. So if you do a number of reps until you fatigue, take pause. Then you go again within like 5, 10, or 15 seconds and then crank out a few more reps, like push-ups. Because you took a quick break, you can do a few more reps. You can also do supersets. What that is, is you do back-to-back -back exercises, typically with opposing muscles. Say, for example, you do your chest, and then you go straight into a back exercise because they're opposing muscles. So that is a superset. And you can also do force reps. This is when you need a training partner that can help you force a few more reps by uh, having the training partner lift a bit of the weight for you as you lift it yourself as well. You can also do undulating sets, which is um, doing, like, say, for example, six reps on the first set. The next set would be 15 reps. Obviously, you'd be using less weight because you're going on a higher rep range or you could go from a high rep range like 20 reps then next set could be 8 reps and then back to 15 reps so that's what that's what an undulating set would be and there are a few more other ways of intens intensifying your sets you can also look into high intensity interval training this is great if you've always been doing straight sets or you've been taking too long of a break between each set just changing this up by doing high intensity work would really help so that would be high intensity to a low intensity work and then back again to high intensity and then back again to low intensity. And this is just a few tips that I've been saying. Um, this is just for your workout, okay? There are other things that you can look into and that's the, um, this is a big thing that I really advocate which is lifestyle improvements. You can look into changing up your diet or looking at how you rest between workouts. That means like you know, today you worked out, tomorrow you're resting, the quality of rest that you get, the quality of sleep that you get as well, um, looking into digestion if you're digesting the food right, um, looking maybe into detoxifying if you've had a lot of um, things that have intoxicated your body, say for example alcohol or chemicals from skin products or anything like that. So if you have any questions about this topic, feel free to email me. You can reach me at holisticjose at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram as well at holisticjose. Join my Facebook page, that's Holistic Jose, just search that on Facebook, and join my private group as well. Just search again, Holistic Jose under groups, and you could get free downloads once you're in that group. All right, thank you for listening, and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye now.